the pistol round already, so this is it. Straight up, not missing any action here. Dignitas are going for the straight YOLO train onto the B site. Yes, and Device and actually they're not checking in the back, and that's gonna cost them dearly. Olaf Meister gonna pick down Device, and then Flusher takes fetish hits. AC going down next, leaving Dupree while he was coming in from the vents way too late. That was a Dignitas round right up until the forgot about Olaf Meister in the back of the site. And actually they had no call to do that either. Fnatic playing a really deep trick here because when they got the first two kills going into it, that's usually all the people holding at B. Mm -hmm. So this position right here completely caught them off guard. That was sick. It was probably that moment right there where Device, he turned as he was playing the bomb, and then he just sees Olaf Meister. He yeah. sees there's not a thing he can do. Olaf Meister is going to end him and just, well, tear that whole round open for Fnatic. So Fnatic actually going with their, with now, a standard play for them, which is to pick up three rifles and keep two guys on pistols. So Pronax goes with this 5.7, JW only with the P250, but they're still managing to do all the damage they need to here. JW actually no fear, going straight for Sipnix, runs out of bullets. Sipnix lives with 14 HP. Yeah, and JW trying to wall bang a little bit through, hoping for the cinematic moment when it just happens. But um, it's going to be Flusher coming in from the B bomb site to take him down. And a quick two rounds for Fnatic, straight into the third one, because there was no bomb plant. Dignitas aren't going to be able to buy anything here. They're just taking it slowly yeah. and uh, coolly. And JW not even going to bother upgrading anything. He's just going to go nades, kit, armor, you know, right? And if he lives through it, great. Oh. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. He'll still be able to buy that AWP in the Dignitas buy round. Bolt. But you're right, Dignitas, they're going to try and catch a fast one here on Fnatic, basically. Three rifles, two CZs, a lot of firepower, and JW, they may not expect this at all, Fnatic. They could get caught out here, but now they know Olaf Meister getting picked up at mid. JW actually traded places with Sipnix down there, but he's gonna get found anyway. He gets another kill. That's way more than he should have had. And somehow Dupree still gets that kill. I'm not sure why it took him so long to kill JW. The first kill was warranted. The next two definitely weren't. Now AC up here just switches away one millisecond before Pronex walks in, and that gives Pronex the edge to take him down. This is such a close round, but Fnatic are coming out on top again. Yeah, Fnatic have got the advantage again. Now this is going to be a rifle. They could pick this up. Dupree could go back to throw it to Fetish, but there's going to be rifles in mid, and Fetish is going to find one there. So AK's picked up on Dignitas now, and they still have a little bit of the map control here, although Flusher has pushed way back into a bit of a snacks position in T-Spawn, cutting off b site. Dignitas may never, they may never expect this. No. Are they actually going to look back towards T-Spawn when they come around this corner? Dupree, not going to happen. Flusher was waiting to see if anyone else would go in. So yeah, now there's a really big problem here. 30 seconds fetish. Best case for him right now is getting that bomb down. Getting more kills as well would be great. And actually, ooh, they thought he was already in there. He still can't pick up that one kill there. So... That was a really close round. I actually think Fnatic should have probably lost this round. Pronex should definitely have been dead over at A. And in the middle, JW should not have had that uh, that double. No way. No way. He nearly but, had the third as well in Dupree. Yeah. He only ran out of bullets. One more bullet and he would yeah. have had Dupree. And the thing is, you could see, you could really clearly tell that Dignitas House were having some great communication issues there because uh, Dupree, who ran through, was actually looking left instead of right. So somebody didn't tell him that... Uh, that was happening. Olaf Meister with a great spray down here and a grenade to follow. And uh, Pronax stepping it up. So a good flash from the Danish team. Not going to be enough. Now Olaf Meister is there to save Pronax. Pronax completely blind, just spraying wildly. Device is going to be the last man alive here. 22 health on him. He's running into the B site, but he's going to get caught by Crims. Bit of the duel there between those two. But Fnatic just continues to dominate here. 4-0. And Dignitas will be able to buy up in this round. Question answered. Do they have the AWP? And it looks like it's going to be Fetish who's going to be using it for them. Yeah, that's not too uncommon. Um, I, mean, I guess the first time I really saw Fetish opening a lot for Dignitas was on Nuke. Mm -hmm. But why not put him on it here? I mean, he does well on Nuke, so it's not like he can't do it. The other guy to go to here would be Device. Um, but yeah, don't really mind this at all. Double nade to the boost spot. Really nasty stuff here from Fnatic. That does a lot of damage to Fetish, but if he gets hit by an op shot, it's not going to matter. Still a man alive on short, and he doesn't quite have the angle to work here. Fetish is still looking towards Connector, and in the meantime, his team is spread out across the map. 1-3-1 one, one here from Dignitas. About as far apart as they can get, in fact. Yeah, Dupree, maybe the timing is going to be good for him. They're looking up into the, in the, the, the vent here, and that's going to be a good grenade doing a lot of damage to Flusher. How on earth did it do that take him down to 28. That's more than a grenade should be able to do. Yeah, when you have Kevlar. I think that's the... There is a grenade bug that's been in the game for the longest time, where sometimes if you get f basically damaged from the right angle, it kind of ignores your armor. So I think that might have been what just happened. But Flush is still going to reply and take down Device. 
this kill. Pronax is in position to smoke off A main as well. Sifnix is going to walk right into JW, who's holding that very sharp angle there with the AWP. Not going to give him any opportunities here to Dignas, for Dignitas to strike back unless Fetish were to land that shot. And somehow he puts it into the box next to JW. So now they know, and they know that Short is going to be under, under attack pretty much. Yeah, the free comes out and it's going to go down JW. The world with the C set 75 and the grenade to follow. And it's going to be 5 and 0 here. So not much luck for Dignitas early on. They could force up with Galil's and two AKs, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. No, I don't think they want to. They're still they're still on T side of cash, so they can still afford to give a few rounds up here to Fnatic. Only problem is, is that Fnatic's money is starting to get a bit out of hand here. Two of these guys are above 10k dollars, and that's definitely not what Dignitas want to happen. But it, rather than force it, still better to let them get the money and go for a big buy in the next round. Yeah, they're gonna try and see if they can overrun JW. He does get some of some Pronax to pick up that one kill, and Pronax, in fact, is doing very nicely here. Picks up three kills, and that's a fourth one to follow. So a good anti-eco coming out here from the Fnatic team. Very important stuff. Yeah, and double op here from Fnatic as well. We didn't get to see the other one, but Pronax is laughing right now. They are pleased with how this is going. Flush as well, and Flush is such a cool cat. Him and Olaf Meister, it's really fitting that they're on the same team because both of them are just the biggest jokers, basically. They love, they're the hugest trolls in CS. So Flush and Olaf, like being on the same team, it's like not only do you have like the pure skill, but then they'll troll you while they do it. So this is, uh, yeah, that's just fanatic for you. The ultimate combo. Very cool, guys. And let's see how this all works out, though. It's in the seventh round, still got more than a minute left here, of course. And yeah, that double up setup is definitely very effective. So there's no reason why why Fnatic can't keep going like they have so far. Fetish has uh, picked up an op on the other side as well. And I gotta wonder if um, if it's gonna be enough to make an opening. Fetish actually hasn't picked up a kill yet. So be good if he could uh, open up this round. Yeah. So looking for that nuke performance, basically, the AWP here from Fetish, almost catching Olafmeister off guard. Olafmeister trading up positions. Usually this is JW holding the spot, but it's going to be Olaf looking towards Squeak Door, turns away just as Dupree comes out for the peak, and this isn't going to be too good here. Olafmeister under a lot of pressure, but Dignitas, because of this smoke, they can't commit, and really it's not their intent to go to A site. They want to go to B, and JW is going to be here. Good shot. Second shot as well. Takes down AZ, and the bomb is dropped inside, so... Wow, Dignitas putting a little bit of pressure on the A-bomb site, but when they swap back to B, it kind of all fell apart here, and that's going to be a quick flick. Gets a third one. Now Sipnix, a bit of a one-on-four. Five. Yeah, he gets that kill, so it was one-on-four. It is a one-on-four. He heard you, Anders. Good. Good job. It's not the caster curse or anything. It's like the reverse caster curse. Uh oh I was about to sing JW's praises, you know, saying, well, this guy just does not miss right now. He's playing like a robot, but... CZ75 gets the job done in the end, and this is going to be another round here for Fnatic. Dignitas kind of bouncing back into this uh, into this situation. They're still going to have, they should still have money, but because they didn't get that plant, it may be a bit on the edge here. Pretty damn fast. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a very uncomfortable situation for uh, for the Dignitas team, I would say. Seven and zero, running into the middle, running right into Crimson. Flusher, in fact, will pick up two really quick kills. And then they decide to go back to B where JW was lurking. And again, just very much on point with the sniper rifle. Oh, and now the bomb is dropped there. Fetish, are you brave enough? All right, there's the flash. Right, Crimson is going to get him from CT spawn, and that's going to be the end. Fnatic, eight and O. Oh. Dignitas, again, no plants. Do, do, they, do they continue to buy? Everybody on Fnatic is above $10,000 right now. This is getting obscene. And You know, again, the, the map choice here is very surprising to me. Because I am I still I remember having a talk with Dignitas at one point or other mm -hmm. and, and having them tell me Cash is not a map they put a lot of effort into. And to be willing to go up against Fnatic, who have demonstrated time and time again on land as well that, they, that Cash is not a map that they're afraid of. But on the contrary, it's actually a map that they perform quite well on. That's a bit of a stretch. Dignitas, they might be regretting this decision, this gamble right now. JW is just hunting around the map right now. No fear at all from him. He picks up Fetish over by the B side. And in the meantime, Dignitas are still gathered up, basically in T-spawn and around A. It looks like they're going to go for a bit of a boost, maybe try and get some options there. But It makes you wonder how the, the ban pick stage actually worked out here. You could be pretty sure Fnatic have definitely banned out Nuke. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no doubt. But then... If you're Dignitas, do you want to... I don't know. What other maps do you ban out? You probably ban Mirage. 
You want to get rid of Mirage. I mean, Dust 2 is also a strong map for Fnatic. Inferno is as well. I mean, it's really tough, actually. When it comes down to it, where exactly do you play Fnatic? They just look so good on all the maps right now. I think Demon's House would be perfectly fine playing Dust 2 or Inferno against Fnatic. They'd be comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. um, then maybe it's down to Overpass or Cobblestone sort of throwing in a bit of a mix, and maybe Demon's House feel like they are so bad on those maps, they had to waste... Two bans okay. to get rid of it? Yeah, something like that. And then they, they decided perhaps to ban out like something like Inferno. Maybe leave it up to chance with Dust 2, and then Fnatic ban out Dust 2, leaves Cash. Yeah. I mean, that could have been how it goes. Oh, well, I guess we'll we'll know if we ask the players tomorrow, but right now we won't know. So, um, 9 and 0. Uh, Fnatic just continuing to bring the pain train here. There's no end to it. And Dignitas, they've not even close to come up with an answer right now. No. Well, their answer right now is basically, okay, that's enough force buys. We're not getting enough nades in. We're not having the rifles that we need to do this. So we're just going to go ahead and eco. But this eco is turning out fantastic for Dignitas. AC device finish. Everybody getting frags. They've cleared up the A site. They've got control of short. They've got three rifles to work with. And they're just going to continue to damage Fnatic. This down to JW, last man rotating in from the B side, who will finally end one of the Dignitas members. Yeah. I feel like a round like this kind of defies reason, right? You can't play nine rounds in a row and half of them rifles and then have one round where you have pistols, not even armor, just pistols, and almost play it flawlessly. That's slightly ridiculous. Well, it's still fair for Dignitas. This is, I mean, they are a team that, that's why we're so surprised that still Fnatic, you know, they're able to kind of walk through those, eight, those nine rounds because Dignitas are not a team to be taken lightly. They certainly can do damage. They're, they're one of those, they're definitely in the top six, if not the top four in the world right now. So yeah, I would you're say top at, three. You're looking at Dignitas and you're saying, well, you aren't supposed to be taking a beating like this from Fnatic. That's not exactly part of the game plan here. Yeah. Fnatic finally had to take a chunk out of their money. I definitely feel pretty comfortable with Dignitas in the top three, actually. But, um, yeah. On Cash, maybe not so much. And on Fnatic, they, the train just keeps going. Finally, you know, they get around on the board. Now they got to show us a lot more. There's a long road to go here for the Danes. And um, maybe they had some... I don't know if the issues with actually getting here, you know, like, you know, not having that much time is also a factor. That could be it. But um, still, they should be able to show us more anyway. JW, looking the wrong way at the wrong time, uncharacteristically. Because Fnatic have been really thorough tonight. They've really not left much a chance in terms mm -hmm. of not checking corners and everything. True. So um, Fnatic, oh, JLO, you may be caught slipping a tiny bit there. That gives an opening anyway, but all of Meister takes it back, similar. Yeah, Bay caught him sleeping. Or was it slipping? Regardless. Oh. Fnatic bring it back to a four on four, and this is actually not too bad a situation for them. Even if Dignitas have are on the T side, and so they're going to be able to crash into a site fairly quickly here. 50 seconds left on this but clock means that Dignitas might have their hand forced, and there's still two guys holding solid on this A site. Yeah, and actually I was just about to compliment Fnatic on how well they were playing it, because I love the idea of having Olaf Meister be the only guy holding B while everyone else is holding either mid or A, because mm -hmm. uh, Olaf Meister can do that. So, you know, use that resource. But right now, two people in A could get a little bit ugly here for Fnatic unless they get the early kill, the opening frag here. Rush is on. It's about 25 seconds on the clock, and they're making their way in, and Pronax is there. Second kill from Pronax, and Crims helps out. Great teamwork coming out right now. Fnatic just cutting them down, and that works out beautifully here for the Swedes. So 10 to 1, and the only reason Dignitas can buy right here is because the round that they won, it was an eco round for them, so they would have had the money anyway. If that had been a buy round for Dignitas, though, they would have been ecoing right here again, yeah. and they would have been really bad. Hell, they would have, I mean, they, they had the money because they saved three guns. So they're able to actually get a little bit on their side, but now we can see they, they just don't hesitate at all. Dupree only having the 3700. The double nade. Massive damage there from Fnatic, and look at this. They're playing up close to mid again. Flusha is just right below the boost spot. Device could get completely caught off guard here. Yeah, and they've taken Fetish off of Warping duping, du Duty and putting it on Device mm -hmm. instead, so... Who's also a very capable offer. No doubt. So, I mean, he's playing it patiently right now, but again, Fnatic... Fnatic, they've got, I mean... Well, it's kind of fitting for Swedes, right? Ice water in their veins? I mean, they just don't care. They're not going to be peaking. They're not giving anything to Dignitas. It's all about the entry frag right now. So Dignitas are going to have to do it the hard way. They have to walk in here to the A site and just hope that they can overwhelm the defense flat out. And this position from Olof Meister is a really strong one. It's hard for the terrorists to duck in and, and get that kill. Flashbang range through as well. Olof Meister misses the next shot, but now they know what's up. And AC and Dupree are going to fall next. Pronax in a great position to pick off another one. And Fetish tries he might. This one on four is not going to work out in his favor. Pronax with the kill, and Fnatic 
they just keep going. It seems like this match that we've been waiting for is going to be over almost before it starts. Yeah, it's incredible how dominant they look. And it's it's also incredible that the round that they lose isn't a buy round from Dignitas. It's Dignitas winning an eco round. As soon as Dignitas have rifles again, it seems like easy mode for Fnatic. They're reading Dignitas perfectly. They always have the right setup. And when it comes to landing the shots, they're doing that too. Crims and Olofmeister over on the A site. They're just completely annihilating the Danes. JW over on B, he gets peaked. Nicely done there. Dignitas managing to make it out of there in one piece. Still, Device actually doing some damage here to JW. Gonna keep him on his toes, but JW knows he's got him boxed in. Yeah, taking it slowly right now. Okay, okay. well this is an eco round. This is, a, this is not a hard eco round, but this is still an eco round. So if we follow the trend here, Dignitas is gonna win. I don't know. The way they won the other round was Basically, well, by having a little bit of luck and catching the Fnatic members off guard over at that A bomb site. Right. So, I mean, the only way that happens is if you do a rush. I think because they're taking it so slowly right now, it's a very different scenario for Dignitas. Uh, clearly, clearly, this, pistols are the key because JW hasn't missed that often this entire match. He finally gets rid of the device. That's after missing a billion off shots. Pronax, well, it's turning into a bit of a turkey shoot over here on A site. Crims is not going to connect, but it's going to be Pronax to pick up the final frag. And, well, Fnatic 12-1. It's going to be a buy round now for Dignitas, but they're quickly running out of space. If they lose this round, it's going to be a force in the last round, and we may very well be looking at a 14-1 scoreline, which is almost unheard of on land. Unless you're Hellraisers. Yeah, it's looking... It's looking very tricky. It definitely is. I'm going to be anxious to talk to Dignitas tomorrow to see how they ended up on this map to begin with. Device with a good opening kill on Flusher and JW going very aggressively, and that's probably going to surprise Fetish completely. Oh! Still a nice idea from JW, and the repeat almost gets him killed, in fact, but I still... I, I like that initial play. I think that was cool. Just He was almost ahead of that flash as well. He, tra he tracked Fetish, so he knew where Fetish was. He just barely missed the shot. So, Fnatic... It just fell just short of picking up that 4-4 situation. Olafmeister hunting on a side is going to get caught by Sipnix, and this is a gun round. This is a buy round that's actually working here for Dignitas. They've got a two-man advantage, and they've still got control of mid. They can pretty much take this wherever they want, and I do like this play here from Fnatic as well. They're focusing their defense on the B site right now. So if Dignitas decide to change things up and go towards B, there's going to be a very solid defense here for Fnatic. If they go towards A, Fnatic, they give them the site and hold on to the guns that they have. Not that they need to because they, they're so filthy rich. I was going to say, I'd be, I'd be very disappointed if Fnatic don't go for the retake in a 3 on 5 with the kind of money they have. Because they're in the 14th round, you know, it's not like they're going to waste anything doing it. But now it's crumbling again for Dignitas from a 5 on 3 into a 5 on... And, well, 3 on 3 was a 3 on 3, now 3 on 2 and Pronax goes down to Sipnix. Crims smoked out of the bomb site and the bomb will go down, so... That was probably a bit of a scare for Dignitas right there. I think they, were, they, start to, they started to feel it slipping a little bit, but then once Pronax couldn't actually get out of the vents, Dignitas knew where to be looking for him. Crims just kind of tempts some shots through, and Sip makes lobs a nade in his face. So two rounds now picked up for Dignitas. Fnatic, filthy rich. They can buy whatever they want at this point, so it's not a problem for them. Dignitas, they're going to be able to re-equip as well, and this is going to be a very interesting 15th round, seeing as how it's, I mean, it's do or die time for Dignitas. They need this third round. They need whatever cushion they can get, because four rounds separating Fnatic from the first seed in the group, it's not enough. Oh, it definitely isn't. Even if they get three rounds, this is, this isn't nuke. I mean, if it was nuke and it ended 12-3, I wouldn't be so disappointed, but um, it's a good opening from Fetish, taking out Olofmeister, looking for a second kill, but misses that flick. And now the backup is here. Fnatic have got some good positions. Again, even being a man down, they can still defend this bomb site. They've already proven that once. Mm -hmm. the Dignitas don't want to commit either. They're rotating the bomb through garage. They've still got a man camped out outside of B. So if there's any kind of peak here from Fnatic, they are a man down. Fnatic are going to want information. So they may decide to try and push out around the map, right? Try and, try and see if they can't sneak behind the Dignitas lines or at least get some info on where Dignitas are setting up right now. Dignitas could take advantage of that with Device and Toxic like this, but... Right now, it seems like Fnatic are just content to sit back and wait and see what Dignitas are going to do. Flush on. Shoot through a little bit. Oh, he's not going to do it. He had, the, he had the angle for it then, but he's going to be listening and seeing them actually walk into the vent, which JW is back here holding. And last time Dignitas tried this, it didn't exactly end with, uh, with smiles on their faces. So we'll see. Having the good angle here, JW. They're very close to him. He's got to be careful he's not getting flanked from his... Uh, 
his left side here, and he's going to get the one. Can't get the no scope, so he's going to go down. But Pronex picks up a great kill on Dupree, and it's going to be a two on three still. Hard for Fnatic to retake this, but obviously being the fifteenth round, going to go for it. Uh, they have no no option here. A little bit of a not a seminade there. Very nice Pronex. Trying to put shots through. They're trying to sneak their way up here, but this man advantage is going to work for Dignitas. They're able to set up a triangle of doom, cover the angles. Pronax dropped down to 17 HP, but Fetish is still alive, and Sipnix has taken out his support. Flusha is down in CT spawn, so Pronax, last man alive here in a 1v3, nearly gets the double kill. Very close there. Sipnix will end him, but Fetish, he wasn't so lucky. Yeah, all readying up really quickly here. Second half is coming up, so... Well, if you're just joining us, you're in for uh, for a bit of an adventure here to see if uh, Dignitas House can somehow make it back. But it seems highly unlikely at this point. Twelve to three is a, it's a pretty decisive message sent from uh, from the Dan from the Swedish team. Well, this is this is the Danish freight train, and this is now their CT side. Yes. And at a, there was a time when we used to say that three rounds on a T side was enough for Dignitas because their CT side was just the Great Wall. You couldn't get through. I think that's still true to some extent, but. Not on cash. I'm, I don't see it happening here. They, they're going to try anyway. Of course, they're not going to give up. Fetish looking for a good opening here in the bomb side, and they're actually going to pick up one curl. But now, oh, AC charging through the smoke, gets the one, and Dupree with another follow up. So, Olaf Meister and Crimson left two on three, and Bomb Plant not happening yet. So, they have some time here to get in position, Dignitas. Sipnix has got a sick OG as well. It's going to be Device actually catching Olaf Meister through the box there. So that's going to be a headshot. 1v3 still for Crims. He's only got 38 points of health. He's just going to swarm him. That's exactly what Dignitas had to do to get control of that situation. Device has the kit, so they have all day to get this defuse. But that was a very nicely executed pistol round. AC going YOLO. And nearly having a team ace, Device is the only man to pick up two frags, and he lives through the round. Hmm. 12-4. Bit of a bit of an opening, but only a tiny one because Fnatic did get the bomb plant, so they're going to be buying in the upcoming round. And Pronax has a flash. Olaf is the only guy picking up a P250 here, but Pronax has a flash. So what is going to be the play? Are they going to try and flash over the building here and go out through Squeak? This could be it. That would be great right now. That would be perfect. Sibnix is the only one holding inside the bomb sign. Now, backup is coming at some point, but if he doesn't get a lot of kills, then he will only get the one. The device actually gets that one and goes for a triple. Has the pistol out here. And uh, he's going to be dropped as well, so nicely played from Fnatic so far. Bomb goes down, grenade to follow up here. Not going to kill Flusher with it. No, Flusher's still alive. He's passed off that Famasta JW as well. Fl they, they're just holding behind the site. They need to make Dignitas come and find them at this point. But JW finds another frag, and this is, this is going to set it up here. Fnatic, they're in a position where they could potentially do it, but they do get shut down eventually by Dupree and AC working well together there in that situation. That was, that was kind of touch and go there for a second because it felt like JW and Flusher were rotating together. Yeah, and overall, it's way too costly around for Dignitas. Those are just pistols on the Fnatic team, but they did hit a timing where Dignitas didn't have the appropriate set up to deal with that kind of a push so mm -hmm. yeah good uh, really good job and that's gonna put a lot more pressure on the Danish team again because now if they start losing rounds they might eco a lot faster they do have the open fetish but then there's one on JW too yeah now we get to see that battle happen again JW no no he's not full whirlwind here he doesn't have his CZ5 CZ75 to complement the AWP but We've still seen what he's capable of. Fetish, in the meantime, has hit some shots as well throughout the first half. So we'll see if he can manage to connect here now that he's on the CT side and just holding angles. Device is going to take a peek, and JW is going to miss the shot. Puts it into the barrels instead. And Device changing up the angle. Good on scope there by JW. He's going to be able to spot that in time. He's very low on health, so still is uh, Device coming out on top of this battle. But are they going to realize now that they've run away that Crims is actually still in there? They're probably thinking it was maybe just one guy alone. JW is no swag, though, clearly. Fetish. He's waiting in mid-connector, and there is Olaf Meister boosted up in the mid, so this could be an opportunity for Fnatic to try and go over if they go in for the flash. Crims could try and set it up for his mate, but they're going for the B play instead here, Fnatic. And they've got two guys up in the Toxic. I'm not sure if they're going to try and wing anything through the windows or if they're just going to try and overwhelm the site directly. And it looks like that's going to be the play. AC, pop flash in front, going to slow things down a little bit. JW gets blinded, but they're still coming, Fnatic. Oh, Fetish with a good pick off on JW. It's really important here, but now it's down to AC, and they're actually running right through the smoke. Still, Pronax managed to land the running headshot, and Fetish can't pick up that second one. A 
grenade down there would probably finish Pronax, but they currently don't have one picked up, so the bomb goes down, and Flusher is in a great position. Going to be a free kill on Simnix. He even takes his time to wait, and oh, then the slice and dice. Come on, Flusher. He wants more. He's waiting for them. He wants to commit. This is absolute genius level play from Flusher. This is some really champion style play. He's going to pick up the one here and now look at Dignitas. They have no idea what's happening. It's still going to be the round for Dignitas. They have the time to defuse, but Flusher, that is some sick play. I don't even know what to say. Oh, we have to watch that over again. Just he wanted to spot more players. Yep. That's the thing. That's a little bit unlucky there for Flusher. If he, if one more guy comes through here, he trades himself one for two. That's that's a good situation. But I mean, he still picks up two frags in the end. But it was too late to really have an impact because Dignitas were already on the bomb. I mean, if that was an instant headshot, who knows what would have happened? Well, now it's a rush towards the B bomb site, and it is Dignitas just cleaning up here. AC and Dupree taking care of most of the business. Uh, got to got to deal with Crims at some point. And Crims is still at full health as well. The bomb has been dropped all the way in back, but that's not really going to matter at this point. Fnatic are going get, to get closed in on four guys alive here for Dignitas, and they've all converged on this bomb. So Crims, no real option but to take the fight, and he's going to get overwhelmed by Device. So Dignitas slowly but surely coming back into this half. Seven rounds on the board now for them, but we have another buy round coming up for Fnatic. After that round of Eco, they're going to have everything they need here. JW instantly buys everything. So what did he get? He must have an AWP Kevlar. Yeah, that's exactly what he went for. 57.50 spent. Nearly all of his money that round. Fetish in the meantime still has that AWP for Dignitas and Dignitas full nades. This is a full this is a fully bought team versus a fully bought team at this point. This is gonna be a very interesting round, and I love it. Fnatic, they're taking a leaf out of the American book. Yeah, nice boost all the way in the back here, but Sibnix has picked up Crims and I guess in in one way or another, we are starting to see the quality of the of the Danish team being on the defensive side. Because mm -hmm. if nothing else, they they're starting to win a bunch of rounds in a row. I mean, the round difference now is only five. I think if Dignitas can get out to 10, 12, all of a sudden Fnatic are going to start to be a little bit scared. Now Pronex setting up for a Molotov that's probably going to go into the vents over by B. There's nobody there from Dignitas, but it's still a nice idea. Now Flusher goes right on through. Manages to catch a man out on short, and despite the fact that he's blind, he still picks up a kill on Sipnix. Dupree is still on the other side, however, and he's going to manage to catch Olaf Meister off guard. Flusha's going to come hunting for him, though. Flash goes out. Not going to be good enough, though. Flusha, he doesn't get it. Dupree finds the headshot, and all of a sudden, Dignitas two on four. They've got full control. It's a big misstep from Flusha. That should have probably been a, a really quick kill on them there. And yeah, he's asking for the HP as well. A little bit frustrated. Can't really blame him for that. 30 seconds, they're trapped in the middle. If they go for B, AC is waiting there and Fetish is also there. That's actually the hardest side to take right now. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. AC is in a bit of a tight spot as well. Holding in that corner like this, Fnatic just have to run up and check that angle. Fetish drawing their attention up high and AC lands the headshot on Pronax. JW the only man alive here now, but the Flash is going to just, well, blind him hardy hard. And he's going to get one kill still, but there's eight seconds left. He needs to get rid of AC very fast. Within the next two seconds, he needs to get this kill, and he's not going to get it. No time for the plant, even if he did get it at that point. Mm, smart play from AC. If he takes that challenge earlier and mm -hmm. JW does kill him, he can still put down the bomb. So just uh, pretty well done. Now... That's going to be an AD, AK, oh sorry, an AWP and an auto sniper on the Dignitas team. So they're stepping up their game here, which is a pretty big investment, but they can probably afford it at this point. 12 to 8. And Fnatic, no bomb plan that round. It's going to be very frustrating for Fnatic as well. I'm not sure they're going to be expecting a Scar 20 like this, so they got to be careful about the angles, but it's going to be the aggression straight up onto B. Fetish could get overwhelmed here if he's not careful. AC, however, sets it up, and he drops everybody. Triple kill for him. He finally gets taken out by Crims, but the bomb is dropped, and it's a 2 on 4. That was some hero-style backup coming in from AC. If he doesn't get through the vent exactly at that point in time, yeah, definitely Fetish is gone from the map. Device does go down. All of Meister still trying to challenge the auto sniper. Not going to be working out so well for him. And that leaves Crims in the checkered room. And I think they have a pretty good idea exactly where he is. So this one on three is fairly unlikely. Yeah, he's fully boxed in. Unless he manages to clear up the man on the side, Dupree. It's dropped dangerously low. HE could go in, but Dupree strikes first, takes Crims out. And Dignitas slowly but surely walking their way back in true Dignitas fashion. CT side, three rounds is all these guys need. They're so close now to tying it up with Fnatic. Yeah. They're closest to the monitor right now is AC, but if we went to the other side of the camera, we'd be seeing Device. And I've got to say, I can't think of a single person that ever looks as focused as, as Device does. Yeah. He is. He always looks hyper, hyper focused. It's kind of 
Just sometimes just end up watching him a little bit just because of that. Oh, this boost is something I've seen Dignitas do before, and that is something Olofmeister wasn't quite ready for. So that's going to be a really interesting opening kill. Of course, it's just an eco round for Fnatic, so don't think they're going to care too much about losing the members early on, but Sibnik should still be careful. Uh, that was a bit, uh, bit rough there for him. Hot feet, hot feet. The floor is lava. Feels like a kid again. One funny thing about the Vice is also he, he nearly, like, he loses his voice almost every event as well because he gets so hyped at shouting at his mates that he nearly loses his voice every event. And actually one thing that the Vice had to struggle with at one point in his Counter-Strike career was making the choice between whether or not he wanted to play sort of professional Counter-Strike or whether or not he actually wanted to go for, like, a semi-pro badminton career. Because, so, so there is, like, an element of being just a competitive person mm -hmm. involved in it. I think that's what sometimes shines through when you're looking at him. Uh, but yeah, 12 to 10 here. Fnatic, they still have a really good shot of doing this, but they might be lacking a little bit of confidence and you can't really blame them. Device and Dupree doing some uh, some sick shit here. And oh, Dupree picking off Flusher as well. What are we witnessing? <laughs> what has happened to the Fnatic from first half? Yeah, this is Dignitas, the full on freight trade mode. Oh, it's a real pleasure to watch Dignitas. They just run it back. It doesn't matter how many rounds they have. JW missing a shot. Dupree is still here. Wolfmeister was actually dead on with that spray. He's not going to be getting that kill, and Dupree is just kind of floating around. It's Olafmeister, last man alive, takes the fight with Device, and Device is indomitable right now. Three kills for Dupree, two for Device, and Dignitas are now one round away from tying it up with Fnatic. Fnatic have enough money for a full buy. JW is dangerously low. Well, he's got 3,800, so he can afford an AK armor, or he can go Galil and get a full set of nades if he wants. Yeah. But it's just going to be straight up AK armor for him. Olaf with the AWP no head armor, which is a little bit dangerous playing on this terror side because of the M-Force, but that shot is going to be a good opening. And they actually get the entry frag oh, here. Oh, but look at Dupree. Pushed through the smoke into the middle. This could shatter the Fnatic offensive, especially because he's spotting the bomb here. Olaf Meister actually comes through and almost checks. That's pretty sick. But Dupree ready for Flusher, and then he just escapes back into the middle. He's actually going to stick around for a little bit. Oh, that has to be heartbreaking for Fnatic because they had that opening kill. They were ready to build on it. And now, you know, how it's not just the middle. You've got to worry about the whole the rest of the map right now. Where are the rest of the Dignitas players? Has anyone else pushed up aggressively? They don't, they don't know anything right now. Yeah, and that's you see it right now in the way that they're slowing down their pace. They have to walk in, get that bomb back again. They're still gathered up in garage. And this is, this is a smart play here from Fnatic, gathering up essentially, because they know they're a man down. If they try and rush a situation, they could potentially overpower the defense right off the bat. And Brim's going to get the refrag, but it took way too long. And AC from short is going to clean house. Fnatic... They are definitely struggling in this position. It's a 12-12 scoreline now. Dignitas have come back from just three rounds at the end of the first half to bring it back to 12-12. The Danes, it really is. They really are just incredible on CT side. They've won nine rounds in a row without dropping a single one. And yes, we're tied at 12-12. And the problem with walking out in the middle without any flashes or anything mm -hmm. there is that your shadow shows before you get out. So the pre has, you know, a nanosecond more to react. And that could be enough sometimes. At this level, it's a lot. Yeah, rifle of Dupree's caliber. Any kind of advantage he gets, he's going to take advantage of. I mean, he's going to put to full use. So this is this is definitely Dignitas just throwing their weight around at this point. Fnatic, they look dumbfounded, but we'll see if they keep their cool. Flusha in position perhaps to catch AC off guard, but AC lands the shot first. AC just comes through, putting shots through in a garage, just narrowly avoiding And the, the reason the Flusha didn't win that battle is because the smoke raining in. He decided to take one step forward just as the smoke was about to pop, and that's exactly when Dignitas peaked. So, gotta be really frustrating for Flusher. They also only have a pistol on JW, which means this push coming into the A bomb site is gonna be a little bit less than perfect. And the also sniper in the back is gonna go down, so the pistol's enough. Great shot from JW. And now Device in here. Got some backup from Dupree, but he's going to get taken down. Is this going to be the time where Fnatic finally strike back? Device making his way towards the forklift. He's going to get killed, and Olofmeister helping out. This is looking great for the Swedish team. Now, AC is going to take down Olofmeister. It's still a 2 on 3. The bomb has been planted. But here, yeah, Fnatic, it's been nine rounds in a row that they've lost, and now finally they do it. Well played. And DAW, double pistol kill in this one round. Fantastic from Fnatic. Yeah. JW, exactly. That P250. He manages to turn the tide. Olaf Meister cracks a grin. So Fnatic, perhaps they see now, okay, they've broken it. The momentum, they've broken it. They've taken a round away. It is possible. They are mortal. And Dignitas actually don't have that much bank right now either. So this is a really scary situation. They drop so much money in this one round, going for another Scar 20 and AWP combo. Yeah. That will deplete your funds pretty quickly. So 
The auto sniper, unfortunately for uh, for Davis House, was actually stolen by JW. So there's two Scar 20s in, in, in play here and two AWPs. That's, that's a scary number of scoped rifles. That's instant death, like all around the play, all over the place. All right. This is this has turned into one hell of a game, right? From a, from that from that twelve three first finish, where you're like, all right, well, I guess we've been waiting for for nothing all this time, you know, just <laughs> a, a boring stomp, and and we move on to this. Sipnix with the smoke up, and Fetish is actually going to be the one to open up, and Sipnix goes down. That's auto sniper versus auto sniper, and it's JW who comes out on top. JW using those AWP skills. Crims is going to look for a shot. Fetish is on high right now. Crims gets picked off. Fetish lands a great shot into Squeak. That's going to slow Fnatic down somewhat. Debris alive on the side. Drops the bomb carrier. And this could be a cataclysmic. Fnatic, if they lose this, they do. They're Four members living for Dignitas, but that resets Fnatic's money. And this is very bad. We're very near the end of the game. The 27th round just starting up now. And Dignitas, they could bounce very close to a victory here. Fnatic have got to be incredibly concerned. It was nine rounds in a row that they lost. They finally won a single one, and then they're back on the, the wrong side of the tracks again. Exactly, they're back to pistols. Now they're just crossing their fingers, hoping JW can have a repeat performance and get another two frags with the P250, because they're gonna need it right now. Dignitas, great situation for them. Fnatic are just still kind of poking about. They're gathering up outside of A. They've got the bomb carrier there as well on Pronax. Are they going to be able to just go around the corner and overwhelm Sipnix, who has that Scar 20? This could turn into a field day for Scar, for, uh, well, for Scar 20, man. For Scar 20, man. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not unreasonable, especially in this corner here. And with the Molotov here, probably going to force them forward, actually. They have to commit here, so they're getting funneled in here. And the Scar 20, they line up for him, but he only gets the one. It's the Vice turn to get a double instead. And this is actually a pretty good eco round from Fnatic, but if only they could get the bomb down, that could be big here. And it won't happen. Flush had no time. Not really his fault there. Mm -hmm. 14 to 13 and into the 28th round. Now Fnatic have a lot of money to work with. That's going to definitely be an AWP on JW. But what's the answer? I would love, I would still love to see Fnatic go for a, for a B split here through the vents. I feel like if they smoke off enough in the middle, that B split has to be possible. Take control of mid, smoke, smoke fetish out of combat. I mean, we have a smoke going down on connector right now, but there's four guys in mid right now for Dignitas. Yeah, they have two orbs and an auto sniper on that CT side. They've just gone completely insane here at the late stages. And Dupree in the middle again pushes his way through, but he had so many targets and he couldn't find a kill on either one. I think he got too greedy then. Uh, yeah, you're going to get slapped there. Fnatic now, they're in a pretty, a pretty decent spot. They've got control of mid, they've got the man advantage, and Dignitas, they don't necessarily have the bef best weapons to deal with this, especially if JW is going to manage to pick off Fetish. Down to an AWP, a Scar 20, and an M4A4. But more importantly, a two-man advantage now for Fnatic, and they have good map control. Yeah, and if they go for B now, AC's going to be in a world of trouble. He's got one HE grenade, so he can't even buy time. He's not going to be able to flash and wait for his teammates to show up. He's going to have to land some incredible headshots. This would be... An incredible, really, really in sick performance from AZ if he can get it done. He's got some backup coming in from Sipnix, but he's now ducked in the corner. That smoke's actually going to help him out quite a bit. If they jump through, yeah, he's going to take the first kill. Now jumps up into the site, goes for more. They almost line up, but it's not enough. And Device, I don't know if they even have the money to really try and go for this. He could look for some exits, but overall, he should probably try and save this rifle. Overall, yeah. I mean, 1v4 with the AWP. He's standing his ground. No fear from Device. And he's probably just thinking, okay, I'm going to get back into CT spawn and hide in the corner, and we, I should be fine here. He's far enough where they're not going to be able to hear him making noise, and yeah, he's going to manage to get back into CT spawn. So, the Vice will be able to hold on to this gun. Fnatic, every gun is so valuable for them as well that they don't necessarily want to go hunting. They'll leave him the AWP and be like, fine, okay, Device, so long as you don't defuse that bomb, we're cool. We'll call it quits for this round, and we'll take it up again in the next. Yeah, so, AWP save. See what the rest of Dignitas have... They have actually got a reasonable amount of money, but they're going to spend almost all of it here anyway. This is what it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 14-14, 29th round just starting up. Fnatic using most of their money. Crims and Pronax would be able to buy if they lost the round here, but that's about it. Everyone else would be on a very bad economic situation. Mm -hmm. Dignitas, it's not that much different here, so... This yeah. is it. This is it. 29th round, and it could be the round the round of rounds. And they're going for a counter boost. I love it, Dignitas. This could completely catch him off guard. Olaf Meister getting rained down on, and there's the entry frag for Dignitas. 
This is going to slow things down for Fnatic as well. Now they know they've lost control of mid. They don't know where to go. And these cheeky Danes pulling it out, you know, the very last hour here. They just decide, all right, it's time for go some, to go for something we mm -hmm. haven't done before. Uh, JW is still in play, though, and he is looking like a man on the hunt for a counter frag. And no fear at all. He's got back up, but it's pretty far behind. If somebody came around the corner quick here and he misses the shot, he'd be dead. But this is how JW plays. He pretends that that situation is never going to happen, essentially. And I don't know. Somehow it works out. Sipnix is about to spot him, though, if he's standing out in the middle like that. And yeah, Sipnix, I think, did just spot JW. We see the reaction coming out of here, out of Dignitas. They've already got Dupree rotating in through CT spawn. They've got a man in mid. They've got a three-man hold here on the A side. If Fnatic decide to rush this with 30 seconds left, they're going to be running into a very stiff defense. Yeah, they will. Sibnix here. Really good movement. Oh, but through the smoke. Is he going to catch it? He will. Crims couldn't find his way out. Flusher with the return. It's still not done here. Four and three, but this is very important for Fnatic. They want to get out first in the group right now. And Sibnix are standing in, standing in the way here. Gets another kill. It's a double for him. Pronax comes through and Sibnix finds the headshot. And how on earth did he do it? He's now down to 13 health. Flusher has to run. Seven seconds left. He can't win the round no matter what happens. And now that's match and map point for Dignitas. 15 to 14. The incredible defense continues. Dignitas just doing to Fnatic what Fnatic did to them, but Dupree pumped for sure. And everybody on Dignitas right now, they're going to be focused. This is an incredible turnaround here. This is what we expect. I mean, this is just why Dignitas can be so good. Yeah. They may struggle on the T side if they're not familiar with the map, okay. But when they switch over to the CT side, anything is possible. Yeah, and they got Olaf Meister on the first kill. That has to feel good as well. We did see the Danish captain in the background, 3k2, who was uh, waiting back there. So kind of the, the counterpiece to, to Devil Walk, who's on Fnatic right now. Mm -hmm. And this is it. Either overtime, or we're going to be seeing Dignitas coming out first in the second group here, which would be a surprise. It would be. It would be an upset. I mean, going into this tournament, you expect Fnatic, who are finalists at Gamescom, to come out ahead, to take that first seed. Anything else is an upset. Right. They have some weapons, right? Three AKs, one Galil. This can happen for Fnatic. All it takes is one early headshot. Dignitas have a pretty good setup right now with having almost three people in A and actually a fourth guy who'd come in quickly. Oh, that wow. smoke was not perfect. And uh, neither was uh, the follow-up there from, from Pronex. Oh, man, that big, actually Big gap there. That hurts them a lot. They're going to have to go through their own smoke to get onto this A site. That's brutal, but they're going to manage it. JW rushing out. All of Meister Pronax picking up frags, and they've managed to clear up the A site just like that. Despite bungling a smoke, they make sure that a wall of smoke is down, keeping Dignitas out of this bomb site. And Dignitas, fetish just spraying through the smoke, randomly picks up Pronax. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but AZ and Fetish still have a really, really hard task on their hands here. They have the one Molotov, so back a site. I almost just threw it. We used that over towards the uh, squeak door, but now Fetish making his way through. is going to get shut down by Flusher, and there's the overtime. Flusher makes sure it happens. Double kill, 15-15, and we're going to overtime. What a pleasure. What I really, it is. this The fact that Fnatic, they have an excellent first half, and then... And then we have this, Dignitas just doing the same exact thing in their own half. I mean, it's just amazing play out of both of these teams. This is the top of CS right now, the pinnacle right now, what we're watching in this first seed battle, because this is Group B. And this match here settles who's going to go straight into the semifinals with the set with the first seed into Globe and Arena tomorrow, which is where this tournament will be continued from. Inferno is the place right now where all the players are playing from. And there's Pimp in the background as well, walking over with a Copenhagen jersey. Yeah. Just uh, keeping an eye on things. I mean, his team almost defeated Copenhagen Wolves. So, oh, sorry, defeated Dignitas earlier. Mm -hmm. What a game this has turned into. Absolute pleasure. It was a real close call. But such a close game might have favored Dignitas somewhat, getting their uh, getting their nerves going a little bit. Then Fnatic as well. Both of these players, both of these teams coming into this situation warmed up and ready to go. But it is going to be overtime, and it looks like it's going to be MR4 or MR3 rather. I must say, it really felt like. Um, Fnatic regained some confidence at the very late we, stage of this game. Can we bring up the scoreboard real quick and check and see if it's 10,000 or 16? Oh, 10,000, okay. So, 10,000 starting money means that a lot of pressure is on Dignitas to pick up this first round or their economy could be wrecked going into the third round of this first half of overtime. Especially with an auto sniper and AWP, but they've moved up really aggressively right here. So, AC just taking charge of the playground and he's already a little bit uh, low on health, just having to fall back already. But 
We're looking for the first team to get 19 rounds in total here. That's the that's the number you have to look for. So no longer it's 16, it's 19 now for the victory. Dupree with a good headshot on Pronax in the middle, and they're going to try and see if they can still get into this vent. But the main push is over at the A bomb site, and they're running into Sipnix. They finally take him out, and then can they make it through? Smoke goes up again. They have the bomb here. Yeah, that smoke is going to be perfect. That's going to allow for the bomb plant to even happen here for Fnatic. But then quick trade of frags, flush and device, going to town. There's a man on short, there's a man in CT right now for Dignitas, but JW's angle could potentially pick off the vice. He's got to get the headshot, brings it into a two-on-two. -two. Yeah. Oh, and that's JW to follow up. It's now a double. AC is going to get him eventually, but Olaf Meister is in the back, and this is the best card I think Fnatic could have on their hands right now. AC moving up, he's only got the one kill. Now he knows where Olaf is, and this is a dangerous game to play. He's gonna walk around, spots him once, a little bit of a fake coming out. He's got the kit, AC, he's got a little bit of time here, and he's gonna go down. Olaf Meister will find the headshot, and he clutches it. And there it is, we see the reaction a little bit delayed, but Fnatic feeling the pressure, and the excitement comes right afterwards. Incredible, yeah. Olaf Meister with the clutch. And that was a big round in more ways than one. It starts off Fnatic strong, but it also puts immense pressure on Dignitas' economy because of what you just said, Anders. They bought a SCAR-20 and AWP. Those are very expensive rifles to buy in a first round of OT, especially when you only have $10,000. Most of your bank is gone right there with that buy. So now, Dignitas losing this round, if they don't pick up this one, they're going to be hard-pressed to do anything in the third. So think about it this way. In the, in the normal time, either team only picked up three out of 15 rounds on the terrorist side. So when you win one out of three rounds on the terrorist side now, it's way more. It's like you, if it's, you know, sort of ratio wise, it's like if you would have won five rounds in the normal, it's, it's a lot more important to win these rounds here in the overtime. So Fnatic are gonna be excited. And if they win one more here, then Dignitas are in a very deep hole. They are. They're going to be extremely hard pressed, especially because Dignitas, if they lose this round, they're going to be hard. They're not going to have any money left going into the third. It's going to be a force buy. And then it looks really easy for Fnatic. So Fnatic getting control a bit. They spot out Dupree, who was hiding close to the boost spot, looking at Drake. Well, he was looking to get the drop on someone the other way around. Reverse somehow, if that makes sense, you can picture it. But Dupree gets picked off, and that's not the start Dignitas we're looking for here. Oh, oh, <laughs> AC. You're, I think you're just supposed to look up. I don't think you're supposed to jump like that. Flusher going to get down, but Fetish has almost no chance of making it out. And it's still a 2 on 3. Device did pick up that fortunate kill there on Olofmeister. Retake's going to be very tough. One thing working for them is that Fnatic are all inside the bomb site here, which is generally not the best idea. You want to have a couple of people all the way in the back, and look how low they're falling. Sibnix actually has a grenade. Is it going to be the touchdown nade? It does fall back there. It doesn't do enough damage to kill anyone, but the flashbang will. JW's down. This 2-on-2 two -two could now actually happen. Crims is going to be falling. Now 1-on-1. One -one. Pronax just has to buy time here. Device looking for him. There's still a lot of time left, and he comes up here. Pronax still alive. The pistol is out now, and he gets the kill. Pronax, absolute great triple kill. And look at it again. Fnatic celebrating, and for good reason. Oh, they do it again. Pronax playing that so well around the boxes. And you're thinking, okay, the, already the picks, the pings from the top there. Device setting it up perfectly for that fadeaway nade from Sipnix, but the HE doesn't quite do it. They still, this was a great pre-fire here from Device as well. He knew that somebody was behind that box thanks to, Six, thanks to Sipnix. So the, the ability to actually get that done. Oh, incredible. Man. Incredible the how close this is. Yeah, and if that grenade from Sipnix had been, instead of in the right hand, if it had been in the left hand side, that would have definitely killed one, maybe even two members of Fnatic. And it would have been an entirely different situation. And I can just hear Pronax thinking, you know, fool me once, you know, shame on me. Or whatever. Fool me twice, shame on you. I don't know. Well, it's the one way or the other, but still. He's not going to be fooled twice, Pronax. You try and get clever with him once, he's going to figure it out real quick. And now Diggins has in a world of yeah, trouble. I know. I Final round, pistols and, and uh, an armor. That's all they have at the moment. Not looking very good here for the Danish team. All right, where is it now? Dignitas, two pistols and a rifle, yeah. They're spread out across the map as well. Good mission here by Fetish. He could potentially get a great backstab going off, but Flusha sees it coming. You can't fool Flusha like that. And Sipnix is now going to be the point man on the side. He gets overwhelmed in three rounds just like that, picked up by Fnatic. They need one round now to take this win and move on to the main event. It's match and map point indeed for the Swedish team, who are favored to be the first <laughs> seed in the group. Looking unlikely at some point, but um, but now they're looking very much favorites to uh, to exit the group in first place here. Yeah. Not like me with my quotes or sayings. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely not a first place, a first place expression. I've done this so much.
I try to just avoid those sayings now because I even it's, when even when I try and think about it, as soon as I say it on stream, it just always comes exactly. out wrong. Exactly, exactly. That's the thing. You can say it twenty times before, but you say it in front of camera, all of a sudden that's going to be the one time you mess it up. All right. Yeah. Well, then again. I'm providing entertainment for all of you yeah. in this it's very tense situation because for all the Dignitas fans right now, your palms would better be sweating because Dignitas' first seat is on the line and they need a perfect T half. Yeah. They do. And, uh, well, let's put it like this. The first half when they were on the in normal time on this T side, it's anything but perfect. Device pushing and all of Meister are actually missing a shot over here. So, uh, get smoked off a little bit and follow up grenade. Just tag him up a little bit. Just a little bit of shrapnel, nothing nothing terrible. Where is it though, Flusha? They right. must have heard this. Yeah, they had to have heard him making the noise, and Fetish is going to try and sneak in, but Flusha just putting his foot down, saying, no, I'm not thinking about that. Device, however, does get the pick on JW, and that's a big win there for Dignitas, doing a lot of damage to AC, however, in mid, but the short gets cleared up, and Crims gets caught. Yeah, now they could sandwich in on the bomb site here, but Pronex is in a pretty good position. He's looking around, does get flashed, but still picks up that one kill on AC. Gonna get back to that by Dupree. Two on three here. And this is it for Fnatic. Three more kills and they're home free. All of Meister, a little bit flashed. It takes a lot of damage, in fact, uh, just from being over at the truck, and he's gonna have to get some help from Flusher here. Yeah, he is. I mean, support is gonna have to come in, but the Vice manages to catch him out on CT, and now it's gonna be down to Flusher. Moving on up the sky. There is no backing off the save in this position. He could go for the 1v3 right here if anybody decides to peek for Dignitas, but Dignitas are playing this very carefully. They aren't showing, and when they do, it's all three of them showing at once. Flusher getting caught in the perfect triangle of doom, and that's Not Dignitas even, getting the round that they needed. Not even Flusher could have helped uh, Olaf Meister once he took that orb shot. You, you're, you're gonna need to know some really powerful CPR if you wanna help someone out in that case. Press really hard. I don't know if that's how CPR works, but 16 to 18, and we're moving on here. Dignitas do manage to pick up the first round, and uh, Fnatic could be in the same boat. I mean, they didn't buy an auto sniper, so they will have a little bit more money for the final round, but with 10,000 starting money in this uh, MR3 setup, you gotta be careful on the CT side. You could end up losing pretty much all your money. Exactly. But Fnatic need one round right here to secure the win. Dignitas fully bought up. Fnatic struggling somewhat. Olaf Meister glass cannon, but they've still got control of mid. Fnatic putting a little bit of pressure here. Oh. JW is going to get up close. If he spots Device, he turns away, and Device is going to take that easily. But honestly, Device in the beginning was scoped up towards towards the vent. They could have both missed each other entirely. That was a funny situation, but not for JW, but from an audience point of view. Still got 50 seconds left here, and Dignitas is not going to give up so easily. Certainly struggling now. The pre, I mean, Fnatic being a man behind, missing oh. flashes like that. Olafmeister will find a kill on Fetish, though. Brings it back to a 4 on 4, but the action is going to be at B. And there's the kill. Olafmeister comes in two in a row. Yeah, and you got to wonder why they peek him this aggressively instead of just all going for him at the same time. This is very much one at a time for Dignitas Stress trying to get in here. Flush is there to help out. Now Dupree, one on three here. 20 seconds left. And he doesn't even control the bomb. He's going to be walking in. There's a little bit of smoke to cover him. But Flusher's going to walk in, and there it is. Double kill for Olaf. Double for Flusher. And Fnatic make it out first in the group. Went to overtime. But eventually, they managed to beat the Danish Dignitas. Yeah. What a great, fantastic match we had here. That was a first seed battle right there. Right there, yeah. That